How's it going everybody? Decisive TV here. I'm back for another video. Today we're back on the Cornerstone SMP server. That is right. We're back for episode three, which is amazing. So a few things have taken place a little off camera. And yeah, as you can see, I have a bunch of arrows. That's because pillagers were here. They're mean. Yeah, so check this out. We have some amethyst, a little bit of amethyst. I did some work off camera on the starter base, added some leaves, added this stuff, added a little path and whatnot, all that cool jazz. Added a little custom tree. Probably going to add more. Added this river. Uh, not com not completely done yet. It kind of just leads to nothing. And it doesn't really start from anywhere. I think what I'm going to do is lead it up the mountain. So it looks like it's coming from the snowy peaks. And then running off into this river. Which I think will look really, really cool. Have some com compact ice. Uh, maybe some regular ice as well. I also went to the giant hole. Which we might look at here in a... Uh, uh, bit maybe later in this episode but i also got some bamboo from there because there's a jungle there's a whole lot of biomes we're probably gonna check it out later but yeah so now we have a bit of bamboo i'm just kind of spreading it out across the base because uh, why not and yeah last episode we made this chicken farm which is producing a lot of chicken i i mean i have to put in the uh eggs manually which is all right certain uh produce quite a quite a bit of chicken it's good in food resource and whatnot and also i kind of like that it's not fully automatic so that we're not lagging the server or lagging our base or anything uh, with a bunch of chickens and whatnot so over in the base we're gonna check out the interior i did a little bit of stuff i added a little flower pot mm, hello there little twee i added a couple paintings and their chest uh, that sort of stuff coming through here added a little bit of that some amethyst added a couple armor stands with a little bit of armor a little bit of armor i still need to get some candles which means i'm gonna need a bee farm we're probably making today maybe I'm not too sure probably but I, I, I at least I'll try because I really need to get beeswax so I can actually make candles because I need some candles there candles here a little bit of candles over there candles everywhere and here I put some blast furnace down some regular furnaces some smokers just so we have all the stuff here I added a little minecart with the chest uh, pretty cool now down here I actually I moved the enchanting table uh, from over near our farming area over into here I hope you guys actually do like this i couldn't find in my original design i had some uh deep slate emerald ores kind of scattered and it, it looked a little better because it had like some green touch within and whatnot but uh so i kind of like place those with some diamond deep slate diamond ore uh and also having them in the original spot uh, i didn't want to go too crazy with it so yeah we got the uh the soul stuff which they actually produce these little things uh this is in a special resource pack that i have called an illuminations i think that's what it's called at least uh, it's pretty cool but yeah i hope you guys really really enjoyed like what i did let me know in the comments what you think about all the stuff that i've done off camera uh and if you guys can think of anything else i should do to the uh the base or the yeah the starter base i'd love to hear your ideas so you guys probably noticed, uh, yeah, there's this tree here. It's a little Christmas tree because at the time of recording, it's uh, two days before Christmas, so the 23rd. And yeah, so there was actually milk in this, but I used a bucket. Uh, but now there's a cookie in there and there's nothing else in these chests. So I guess we have free chests. Maybe something will come on Christmas Day. I'm not too sure. But yeah, there's a Christmas tree that just randomly appeared uh, a nice little star at the top but they left a lot of pods all around up here at the igloo the chicken farm is doing all right or the uh the egg farm is doing all right the igloo or doggy is fine what is that up near my portal hey decisive here's a late birthday cake enjoy nellas ah nellas thank you yeah so my birthday was actually three days ago i just now noticed it i don't know how long it's been here for but yeah so my birthday is on the 20th and i had something planned i had a uh, a charity live stream planned but things didn't go to plan because uh yeah the people that i was trying to contact uh one of them didn't reply and another one uh, said that we couldn't use the space that I was trying to rent out per hour. 
Uh, because it was only for like actual business meetings and stuff and not a live stream. I'm sad, but oh well. Maybe next year, uh, at some point, I really do want to try and get at least one charity live stream done per year. Uh, I, I might do one after Christmas, maybe before. I'm not too sure. It depends on how things go. Maybe tomorrow even uh, on the 24th, but you guys will see that before this video comes out. So... Yeah, this video will probably either come out on Christmas Day or after Christmas. If it's after Christmas, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. If it comes out on Christmas Day, I hope you're having a great Christmas. Uh, yeah, let's get started. I really, really want to do the bee farm today. Uh, I really want to get all that beeswax. Uh, I really, really need bees, which there's been a lot of bees around. Uh, it's kind of kind of weird how many bees have been floating around, but apparently there's none around my base, so I need to go find some. So I'm probably going to come up with a, uh, a farm design, like a little build, something like this, just for the bees, because, because, you know, because. I kind of want to incorporate something, like I like how, uh, also I need to get string because this is getting a little wild. But yeah, so I'm gonna go find those bees and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I did a little bit of work and I ended up getting the uh, the bee farm built. Just, uh, well, a smaller version. We're gonna make a bigger version maybe later in this episode. Yeah, it's not the most efficient farm, obviously. It's just to get enough honeycombs to get some more beehives. Uh, but we're going to want to make a bigger version of this and one that's like fully automatic. So uh, whenever they actually do fill up all the beehives and stuff, they can just automatically get harvested and we can automatically get some honeycombs or honey bottles or whatever we want probably honeycombs is what i'm going to use mostly because you can use that to wax copper blocks which we're going to need quite a few of them i'm going to let those oxidize all the way but we, we're going to need some for this roof because i want to have it be different stages of copper so i want some like non-oxidized at all and some weathered uh, some more mostly oxidized uh and then some that are fully oxidized so it's actually been a few days since that last clip that you saw where I was going to build the bee farm and I did plan on doing that in sort of a time lapse sort of fashion but uh it, it kind of took a while to find the bees and then get all that and start it all up so I think I would just show you guys the progress so far and then once we actually build the like actual full-on bee farm with like its own little house or like whatever it's going to be located in uh, its own, own sort of thing then uh, I would show you guys the time lapse of that but over the course of these past couple of days since that last clip i was coming up with a few ideas on what i wanted to do for the rest of this episode since i didn't really do a time lapse or anything of that bee farm and i decided i will make a copper shop because we have a bunch of copper right here i can get a bunch more copper i know of a huge vein of copper that i haven't mined out yet that is like right underneath my base yeah right down there there's a little staircase that leads right behind this that leads all the way down to a big cave which there is an amethyst geode that i've already cleared out so all the spuds or like amethyst whatever the things that grow the crystals those are all down there in their own individual things so we can make an amethyst farm and we can sell amethyst maybe at the copper shop as well yeah so copper is pretty easily obtainable especially with fortune 3 yeah i just i think it'd be really really nice to make a copper shop and maybe i haven't seen anybody else build a shop yet so maybe this could be the first shop on the server so i've already come up with a design i just need to get all the materials and everything for this copper shop so yeah anyway let's get straight into the time lapse of gathering all the materials and building the thing
Alrighty, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Got the nice vines with the copper. Ah, oh, man, I think those go so well, especially with the grass from the bor borch? the birch forest. It just goes really, really nice. I think it looks really good on the white as well with the, the kind of more light blue-ish, sort of greenish, sort of tint to these vines. I think it all just ties in really, really well. So yeah, this is actually the shopping district. Uh, it looks kind of weird right now, but I'm sure as time moves on, Somebody will replace all the stone with some grass or we'll just move over into the birch forest part, which then, yeah. But some people actually wanted to build out in the ocean this season for their shops, which I think is very, very interesting. I'm sure we'll do something with that. Maybe make a, a raft or... I tried to make sure I got rid of all this copper so no customer saw it. So I think that would just be super duper interesting. We also have an island right there with a dark oak forest or dark, yeah, dark oak forest uh, or roof forest. Yeah. So I'm sure somebody is going to be doing something with that over there. But we got a portal set up, got some stuff added to this that I don't think was in the time lapse, like this raw block cluster right here uh, and that one over there. I also got this sign put on, Decisive TV's Copper Shop, no refunds for any oxidized copper. And we also have chuckles here being a protector of the shop making sure nobody steals we have a little laptop right here uh I yeah, you can't get over it. So we have a little laptop, nice little banner on this, and we have this like kind of sword looking thing, enchanted sword. I, I don't know. I saw it from a, a B00 episode and I thought it looked pretty cool. So so for the roof, I actually did looms right here for the, uh, the kind of checkout area. And for the rest, I did beehives and it's just a bottom part of the beehives right, and I guess the top, but the bottom part, uh, just because I think it looks really nice. It gives it, it gives it a nice little pattern and that sort of stuff. But yeah so the shop is almost fully stocked only got these two rows and that and one diamond for four blocks i think that's a fair price uh let me know if you think i should change it raise it lower it well i don't know what to do i have a little bit of piping right here i'm just going straight across because you can't really just take one of these lightning rods yeah they, they're kind of weird so you could probably hear that thing up stairs i added this but what i can't remember what that is called but down here you can see some particles i just think it'd give it a little bit more atmosphere hello yeah so up here i added some raw copper blocks and yeah so you can see this minecart is just riding around it's riding in a loop have a little bit of lava right here don't look at the back don't 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 judge this part whenever i was making this build i didn't really plan this yeah so it's a little uneven as you can see, there's two stairs. And I guess I could have just left it with the one, but I thought that looked super duper weird that it wasn't hanging off or anything. And this just also looks super weird if it just appeared halfway. So yeah, it looks weird anyway, but we love it still. So yeah, the mine card just comes out of there. It rides along out of here and you can see it connects to this part first and then goes down, but and then it bounces off, comes back up and just loops around, goes back inside, does its thing. Because I really wanted to add some animation to this build, add something that moved, and I thought that was a pretty nice idea of doing it. <laughs> I don't really know. But yeah, added some string around. You can barely see it, but added some string around uh, just so the vines don't grow everywhere. Added a smithing table out front. Thought it'd be nice since it's a copper shop, you know. I uh, need to get some coarse dirt around here uh, to give it a little bit more texture, but I think this looks pretty good besides the, the need for coarse dirt. And eventually, I didn't really want to do a whole lot of like landscaping or uh, foliage just because I don't know where anybody else is going to build their shop. So if somebody's going to build it like right next to mine or like around mine, then I didn't want to like add grass or anything right here in case if it would mess up their build or uh, add like trees in case if somebody actually did want to build like right next to me, like right here or right over there or something like that. So I didn't add any trees, but uh, eventually once the area gets a little bit more set up, probably we'll put some trees if nobody is right next to me. So, and I don't mind if somebody builds right next to me, it would actually probably look pretty cool. Give it more of a towny feel, especially if it's similar kind of medieval ish sort of, I, I don't really know what you would call this, just house. I think that would just look really, really cool right next to mine, just some enclosed cramped space. I don't know, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the build. I think it looks really, really cool uh it, it, the, the roof is a little weird but um i'm gonna pop out the concept art that i went off of and <laughs> you guys can tell me how i did 
uh, and integrating it into Minecraft, adding my own little touches, picking the blocks and everything. I think it looks really, really good. I was gonna add some birch wood into the uh, diorite and calcite, but I didn't. Maybe in the future, if we ever do anything with calcite and diorite or just calcite, we'll might integrate some birch wood into it. I think that would be very interesting. I have never really built with birch wood before. I, I, I think it'd be an interesting block to try and build with. Yeah, the sun's going down. I don't have a bed. I don't think I have any wool for a bed. Yeah, I don't have any wool for the bed. So now we get to see it at nighttime and hopefully not get have it blow I fall. Have it get blown up by creepers. So I actually want to test this out in complimentary shaders. Oh man. Complimentary shaders can make any build look good. Even if it's a dirt dirt shack. Even though we all know dirt shacks are the house of kings uh let's go into the nether and look at the uh the tunnel i made a tunnel i made another portal and i made a tunnel i brought it all the way up to y level 109 oh so pretty and oh there's some baddies down there yeah so this tunnel leads all the way back to the spawn portal back to everywhere yeah die please no okay i didn't die my portal is right here. Uh, my signs got baba buoyed, but that's all right, I guess. And Nellis was actually kind enough. I tried to go to the end, tried to get some uh, shulker boxes and end rods for this build, and I, I might have died like three or four times while I was in the end. It was pretty rough to say the least. But yeah, so you just go down to Onion and Drew's and it's gonna be on your right. I Yes, right. So it is pretty close to my portal and actually I'm probably going to make a tunnel leading from my portal and just, no, no. Oh, you're gonna come in too? Huh? You wanna follow, wanna follow your friend, huh? Going to my base. These darn kids don't know what's up these days anymore, man. Ooh, that's a little spooky. Hello, bee. What are you doing? What the heck is that bee doing here? Why is there a bee? Why is there a bee in the nether? <laughs> I, I know bees are really, really weird right now, but I don't have any flowers, so I can't get it out of the nether. I'm sorry. Please don't die. Yep, there's the shopping district. We go down a little bit to our left eventually. Here it is. My portal is right down there. So pretty close. At least within the nether, it's pretty close. Close? Close. Sucrose. Hello, chicken. How are you doing? You are dead. And the spawn portal is right down there. Yeah, everybody is actually pretty close. Uh, well, Elementalist is like a uh, 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 way, uh, kind of yeah, tiny ways away. At least it felt a uh, tiny ways away whenever I was mining out the uh, the top layer. But shout out to Nellis for handing me some end rods whenever I was in a tough time and I couldn't for the life of me actually survive in the end. Oh yeah, that's right. It's nighttime. Yeah, guys, you should totally go check out Nellis. Amazing builder. Should go check her out. Probably going to be episode three. There's going to be some interesting stuff, I think. Hopefully, probably it's Nellis. So whenever I went to her base, ooh, there's so many things I could spoil, but I won't because I'm not that mean. Our house is almost starting to fully oxidize. There's only a few blocks that are still not even like weathered or exposed. There's one weather block that I know of. Uh, this needs to like actually hurry up though. This needs to get like fully oxidized. Maybe I could take the roof off and just like spread them out like I did these blocks down there, but nah, it's fine. So I actually installed some vanilla tweaks uh, resource pack. So now we actually have quite a few things like variated bricks. You could see there's a little dark brick and the rest of them are pretty light. So that like randomizes throughout each brick block the uh the logs are now circular instead of like fully square my ui is completely dark now instead of like big bright white uh leaves are pretty bushy and that is very very nice i really really like that it gives uh the the trees a little bit more life and the uh the foliage on the base and on that a bit more life as well it's very very cool go check out vanilla tweaks if you guys haven't even heard of that very awesome very nice to have in the game. Adds a little bit more life to vanilla, adds a little bit more just the quality of life things. And you can customize it, completely customize. You can select each module, it's very cool. I'm sure if you're watching this uh, video all the way until this point, you've probably already heard of it because that means you are a true gamer, Minecrafter, Cornerstone SMP fan, thank you. Anyway, that's gonna be it. I'm starting to run out of time for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Go check out all the other Cornerstone SMP members. I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up back here. And yeah, the shop is fully stocked, ready to go, ready to get some diamonds. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.